Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain what is a hydrostatic pressure on retaining wall and how we can calculate hydrostatic pressure. Okay. The pressure exerted by a fluid at equilibrium at a given point within the fluid by gravitational force is called hydrostatic pressure. Okay, what it means? It means a pressure which comes from the liquid on, on, the, on the wall. Okay, so how we can calculate it? The formula which we are going to use is equal to P is equal to rho multiply by G multiply by height height of liquid in here okay so what is the uh, density rho normally we uh, use for density the density of water in our case we have a water you can have different fluid and if you have a different fluid then you have different de density so in our case we have water so the density of water is equal to thousand kilogram per meter cube okay the gravity we have 9.81 meter per second square okay this is the height of liquid which in our case is 3 meters so this is the height of retaining wall which is 7 meter we don't need to consider this one this is just a dimension of the wall we don't need to consider this okay so the formula is simple so the pressure is equal to hydrostatic pressure it's thousand multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 3 meters okay so the answer we will get thousand multiplied by 9.1 multiplied by 3 the final answer the pressure on wall would be Twenty-nine thousand four hundred and thirty kilogram per meter. That's how you calculate hydrostatic pressure on a retaining wall. You can have different type of retaining wall. It could be trapezoidal. It could be square. It could be. In our case, we have a rectangle uh, retaining wall. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.